up guys it's your girl Ashley aka Pretty Hippie and I'm back with another video if you are new here welcome I am so glad to have you on my channel you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and to my returning subscribers hello guys how you guys been like what's up like <laughs> I know it's been a minute since I posted a video and I have a very good reason um I just lost my grandmother about two weeks ago and I'm not gonna get into it because I don't want to start crying and get emotional but my grandmother was like literally my best friend like she raised me from birth so yeah I've been dealing with that for the past two weeks on top of that being pregnant while grieving is it's real real weird you know I'm very emotional you know being pregnant already as it is and then losing somebody that was close to me kind of you know just had me in a little cocoon for a while but guys I have to keep going had to keep pushing I know this is what my grandmother would have wanted me to do don't stop don't give up keep following your dreams so I'm gonna do just that and I'll, you know, get into um, that later. At a later time, I'll talk about it. But right now, I'm just not ready to talk about it. But I just wanted to let you guys know, like, you know, why I've been in my A. I feel like I owe that to you guys being my subscribers and my family or whatnot. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, I've been getting a lot of requests to do a What's On My Altar video. You guys really seem to like my spirituality videos, which makes me really happy because I'm always so nervous to put that type of content out because it's so many different opinions and, you know, I just, I don't really like conflict, confrontation. I believe what I believe. I practice what I practice and, you know, it is what it is, but... You guys really seem to like my spirituality video. So I was like, I guess I will go ahead and do a what's on my altar video. So what I want to show you guys is what's on my altar. Now this is my personal altar. The place I go to pray, to meditate, to manifest, to relax, you know, rejuvenate. You know, that sort of thing. I feel like everyone should have like a sacred space in their home where they just go to feel at peace. And my altar is that place for me where I can just go, stand there, get a sense of self, breathe, relax, know that everything's going to be okay. And then I can go on about my day, you know. So I'm going to share that with you guys today. And like I said, these are the things that are on my altar. I don't feel like any altar is the same. I feel like a lot of altars have, you know, the same elements. But no altar is the same. Like, you should definitely personalize your altar to how you need it to be for your life and what you need to manifest and how you need to grow and evolve spiritually. So, the things I have on my altar are the things that I personally use daily to grow and evolve spiritually so I'm gonna take you guys on a tour I'm really excited I hope you guys like it so I actually have two altars and I'm gonna show you guys both of them I had one for a long time but I just kept buying like all these metaphysical products and crystals and stuff that I needed more space so I created a second altar so I'm gonna share with you guys what's on both of my altars so it'll be kind of like a, a double whammy for you guys you guys get to see both my altars like <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so as you guys can see, I kind of have like a lot going on on my altar. So like, I'm going to try to get into everything. So you'll just be seeing my hands and I'm just going to kind of pick up things and kind of explain what they are and what they do. So right here, I just have some candles. I found these cute candle holders at TJ Maxx. And I thought that would be a really, really nice add to my altar. So I have two of them. These candles really don't represent anything, guys. I just kind of burn them when I want the altar to have like a really pretty glow. 
And now we can get into the Organite. As you guys can see, I have two pieces of Organite, one on each side. So what Organite does is it clears energy and it recharges. So I love to keep Organite on my altar. And actually my husband Tevin made these. They're really pretty. I'm gonna show you guys this one. So yeah, if the camera will focus. All right, there we go. So these are really pretty organized pieces that are my favorite that I kept. Um, we were selling these, we sold all of them, but I kept the ones that I wanted to keep and these two are my absolute favorite. So here on the Organite, I have my pendulum. And I also have another pendulum right here on this clear quartz. I have two of the same ones. One is actually a little shorter than the other, but they're both tiger eye pendulums. And basically I work with the pendulums when I need clarity on a situation, when I need a question answered, you know, that sort of thing. If you guys don't know what pendulums are, let me know in the comments and we can get into that as well. But I just keep one of them wrapped around my Organite. Cause like I said, the Organite is like a charging pad. And also on this Organite, I have my bracelets that I made. This set was for Juneteenth. And I just kind of keep my crystal bracelets up here, guys. So when I want to wear them, like they're charged. And I don't have to worry about them, you know, charging or whatnot. And I do charge my crystals in the sun and the moon. But like, I love my altar space so much that I really just charge them you know, here most of the time, but like, if there's a full moon or something like that, I will take them outside. So I have this beautiful clear quartz crystal. And as you all know, the clear quartz is the universal stone. You can program this stone to do any and everything. So I feel like having a clear quartz on my altar really sets the tone for the crystals. And it's also an amplifier as well. So like if I'm praying over a certain situation or there's something that I need to take place, I feel like this crystal will take on that energy and then give it to everything else up on my altar. So that's why I like to keep the clear quartz. And I do keep this pendulum wrapped around the clear quartz because once again, clear quartz is a charging stone as well and sorry guys if I run out of breath y'all know I'm pregnant so bear with me if you hear me huffing and puffing you know a girl's pregnant so give me some slack so here I have my right away deck now I do not I do not do readings or anything like that I simply use my deck for clarity like if you know, I need clarity on a situation, kind of like I use my pendulum. I'll pull cards and I'll get messages, things like that, but I do not do readings for other people. Not now, not yet anyway. I don't even know if I will plan to do readings on other people because I don't necessarily know if that's my calling or not, which I haven't been called to it thus far. So, you know, I just kind of do my thing. I try to stay in my lane and not you know, be overbearing with my spiritual work. Okay, so the next thing I have up here, guys, is my Yoni egg. I got this from Q's Health and Wellness, which I get a lot of my holistic products from. It is a black-owned business, and you guys have heard me talk about Q's Health and Wellness quite a bit on this channel because she did assist in getting me pregnant. <laughs> so, guys, if you remember this Yoni egg, this is one of the items that I had listed for, you know, what helped me get pregnant. I did use a yoni egg during the process along with my yoni pearls and all my other, you know, maca root and all that other stuff that I posted. I'll leave that video on the cards for you guys to check it out. But yeah, this is my yoni egg. This is a green adventuring. It's good for prosperity, business growth, obviously fertility. So yeah, this sits on my altar. I'm pregnant now. So I don't use it now. I don't know if you're supposed to or not. I haven't really looked into it, but I just, I don't really use it now that I am pregnant. So here we have this beautiful amethyst. I love amethyst. 
It's one of my favorite stones. And I love that this amethyst looks like it's almost infused with the clear quartz. So that's what drew me to this amethyst, guys. Um, amethyst helps with intuition, you know, higher knowledge, your third eye, and all that stuff. And I feel like it's really great to have on your altar, especially when you come here seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, you know. It's good to have an amethyst on the altar. So here's another clear quartz piece. We got this from Georgia on our crystal excursion. Um, I really like this piece because it just looks like a mushroom. Like, And like I said, clear quartz is an amplifier, so that makes two clear quartz that I have on my altar. So yeah, it's just a really cute piece that I just added. And this crystal here is amethyst again. Um, this is an older amethyst. I feel like I've had this amethyst like since the beginning of my crystal Experience like when my husband first introduced me to amethyst. I feel like this is one of them But I'm not sure I think it is because I've had so many since then But I want to say this is one of the OG's one of the originals And I also have my rose quartz crystal and this crystal as you all know is the universal love stone I feel like whatever you do you need to do it with love and make sure love is always present in any of your workings any of your doings if you're not doing it with love you shouldn't be doing it guys like that's just my personal opinion so I have to have the rose quartz crystal on my altar for that specific representation to make sure that I'm doing everything with love, out of love, from my heart, heart chakra. <laughs> All right, so moving right along, guys, we have the big selenite. This is like the divine crystal. It balances all chakras. So I have this on my altar um, for balance. As you can see, I have all of my bracelets on it, guys. Like, I just put all my crystal bracelets on my altar. Once again, you saw some in the other part of the video, but it's the divine crystal and it balances all chakras. And this crystal, this specific selenite crystal does not have to be charged. So, I feel like it's a good representation on the altar, like, for balance. So, yeah, we have the selenite. And I also have a smaller selenite as well. So I told you guys I kind of have a lot of stuff on my altar. So let's get into my smaller crystals at the front. So I have my sunstone here, which is a representation of my sun, solar ray. Um, I don't think that needs to be explained. The sunstone is the energy of the sun, you know, all that jazz. So I have this up here in representation for my baby boy. Actually, I need to get another sunstone now that I have two sons because I'm naming my second son Osiris Karan. And Cyrus means of the sun. How cool is that? And here is a blue calcite, which is good for the throat chakra communication and also intuition. So we have. Oh, and truth. So we have the blue calcite up here. And we have the labradorite, which is really great for creativity. I always use my labradorite when I'm having like a creative block. Since I'm a creative person, I feel like it's only right that I do have labradorite on my altar to help me with those creative flows or whatnot. This is also a labradorite. It doesn't have much of a flash, but it's still a labradorite. This one here is just like a little tiny piece of amethyst that I picked up and just kind of dropped on the altar. So yeah, I've already explained like what I use amethyst for. And these two, Honestly guys, I don't even remember what these two are. I remember picking them up from a local metaf metaphysical shop and it, the meaning resonated with me so I grabbed them and put them on my altar. But I have to figure out what these two stones are. It's the same stone but I just can't remember what it is. And then we have a Dalmatian Jasper. 
which is for optimistic energy, um, playful energy. Like it brings back the spirit of the child. It makes you like youthful, you know, like happy. Like, you know, go back to your happy place, which is your childhood. So I have the Dalmatian Jasper up here. And that's it for my crystals, guys. When I figure out what these two are, I will put them in the comments. But until then, cut me some slack, guys, because this is a lot to remember. So guys, so the next thing I have my Angel Oracle deck. I picked this deck up at Golden Temple, um, my local metaphysical shop here in Birmingham. And I really don't use this deck quite as much. Um, I don't know why, like I'm just never really led to pull from it. I mean, I have, but lately I've just been using my um, right away and this modern witch tarot so I use this deck as well this is like my favorite 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 tarot deck the reason it's my favorite is because number one it has a representation of all races like as you can see there's a melanated princess on the front of the deck which I love this is what made me fall in love with this deck and I got this deck from Golden Temple as well. Yeah. So I got all three of my decks from Golden Temple. Actually, even the Rider Way deck. So now, guys, I'm going to get into the candles. I'm not going to pick this up right now because it's lit. Like, I'm burning a seven-day candle for a specific um, manifestation, meditation that I'm working on now. But this... I got from Urban Metaphysics. She's local here in Birmingham, Alabama. It is a black owned company. And I have my feather in here as well. So when I smudge, I use my feather, you know, to kind of smudge. I do have my Sage and Poly Santo guys, but it's on my other altar. And we'll get into that soon. Let me just stick this feather back in here. But this is called Money Bag. So this candle is for manifestation of money is dedicated for you know money like whatever you need prosperity in basically and it has citrine crystals in it so I burn this candle every now and then and since we're talking about candles I think this one is lit too guys this is a seven day candle as well that I got from a shop in Huntsville that I'm working with so I have this lit now, as you can see the little flame is in there. But this is a seven day candle, like a fast look candle. And this is what I use to put my flames out, guys. I don't blow the flames out, I always smudge them out. Because like, if you're working with a candle, you don't want to blow the flame out because It'll actually stop the process. You want to pause it. Like, because I don't leave, personally, I don't leave candles burning in my home, um, unattended or anything like that. So I'm always having to put them out when I leave the house. So I just kind of smudge them out. So now let's get into the oils that I have up here and like the sprays. This is my anointing oil that I made. I used. Um, olive oil and I put frankincense and myrrh in it and then I also put some oregano so I use this when I pray like if I need to pray over my child I'll put some on his head you know I put it in my hands when I'm blessing something I even use this as a candle dressing as well because it's already pre-made it's been on my altar I put my intentions into it and I have amethyst crystals at the bottom I don't know if you guys can see but yeah, so I use this as my anointing oil. So this spray here is a white sage clearing spray. So basically it works the same as sage. Like when you want to clear the energy, you just kind of spray it around. Like if you feel any negative vibes or whatever, you just kind of spray this around your altar, spray it around your home, on your bed sheets, pillows, all that jazz, wherever you need to spray it. So I got this from Q's Health and Wellness as well. And this one I got from Q's Health and Wellness too. 
it is a money drawing spray so sometimes I use this as a perfume like when I'm leaving the house or you know as an air freshener bed spray all that the same way I use a sage I just kind of spray this around as well so I really like the way this smells it has like a really nice scent to it so moving right along I have Florida water and Florida water you use to clear the air clear the energy you can use this as a floor wash you can use Florida water in many many different ways so guys if you don't know how to use Florida water just look it up but how I use it is I put some in a little bottle like this and I dilute it with water because the scent is a tad bit strong for me so I dilute it with distilled water of course and I spray it throughout the home to clear energies you know I like the smell it's, it's very very fragranced so it can be used as like an air freshener and all that so yeah Florida water is always good to have on the altar and I also use Florida water to clean my altar as well so the next thing we have Oh guys, I'm sorry, and this Florida water came from Urban Metaphysics as well, the same place that I got this candle from, once again, a black owned company. And da -da -da, I have my moon water here that I got from Q's Health and Wellness as well. This water has been charged in the moon and it has been rose essential oil infused and I love 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 rose essential oil it's like my favorite sometimes when I go out I just use rose essential oil instead of using perfume because I love the way rose essential oil smells but this is moon water so I use it um, to clean my crystals to clear the air clear the energy the same way I use my other sprays so there's that And then I have this spray that I got from Cosmic Scents, guys. Yet another black home business. Um, this is a lavender spray. So she gave this to me because she said it would be good with helping me sleep at night due to pregnancy and all that. So like when I need to calm my nose, you know, I'll spray it on my pillow at night. I need to calm my mind. You know, being pregnant is a job. Okay, baby's always kicking. Sometimes you just need some rest, okay? So, this helps. And then I have this oil with sodalite that I got from another black owned company. I'm sorry, but I cannot remember the name and it's not tagged on the bottle or anything, but I was at a market and you know, came across this oil and it resonated with my spirit, so I got it. So guys, anything that I get from anyone, I always put it on my altar so that it becomes me. Like, my altar is saturated with who I am, you know, my needs, my wants, my desires. So I don't just go using anything that I buy from anyone. I always put it on my altar, you know, saturate it, purify it, and, you know, then I start to use it. So this is the last bottle I have up here, guys. And this spray is very, very, very special to me because I made a rose water, actually a flower water, because there were more than just roses. There were um, dogwood, I think it was dogwood, roses, um, lilies. I can't re really remember all the flowers, but I took my grandmother's flowers from her funeral and I made this spray. So I just boiled the flowers in distilled water and then I added some essential oils to it, guys. And then I also added rose quartz and amethyst to it. So this spray, it smells really good. So I even use this as a perfume, but I use it when I just wanna feel, you know, my grandmother's energy, her presence. Um, yeah, so really, really special oil. I'm not gonna talk about it too long, guys, because like I said, I don't wanna start crying on this video. So guys, the last thing I have on this altar are my journals. Like, these are just some of the journals. Like, look, Solar wrote all over this one. That's totally cool. My gratitude journal, my free spirit journal. 
All these journals stay on my altar along with all of my pens. Um, so yeah, I just keep my journals and my pens up here because I feel like everything that I write should be led by the spirit, you know? It should be, you know, led, you know? <laughs> I don't really know how to explain that one, but I keep all of my tools up here. And I almost forgot to show you guys. My husband just bought these. And this is actually real money. This is real silver. So we put these on the altar. He just got them yesterday and I think they're so cool. Like this is like actual real, real, real money. So this coin right here is worth $32. 32 US dollars. And also this one here is worth $32 as well. So it's in a case right now, but we just have them kind of, you know, sitting on the altar. I just wanted to show you guys. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this altar. I feel like this took forever. And as you can see, I have the incense burning up here. I always have my incense. Oh, and my glass of water to represent the water up here. So I like to have all the elements. I used to have a plant up here, guys, but it died on me, so I'm gonna have to go get another plant. Like, I left the house for vacation and came back. The house was too cold and, like, my plants died and I was, like, devastated. But I like to have all the elements, the earth, water, fire, air, you know, the elements, guys. So that's pretty much it for, like, the top of my altar. Now, if you come down to the second shelf but yeah, as you can see all these essential oils they go all the way to the back it's quite a few back there I don't know if you guys can see but yeah and I keep my incense here and then if you look down on the bottom it's where I keep my crystals that I make jewelry with so two buckets full of crystals that I have to start working on guys yeah guys so that's pretty much it for this altar I don't think I left anything out so yeah that's my altar guys and I feel like I have so much stuff on my altar but like I feel like I need all this too <laughs> it's crazy but yeah so let's get into the next altar guys all right guys so this is my second altar it doesn't have as much as the first altar, but you know, still my altar. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and get into some of the things that I have on my altar, guys. As you can see, I kind of turned this into an altar for my grandmother, um, you know, to kind of just have some memories here. But when I created this altar, I did not know what it was going to be for. I just knew I needed some more space. I didn't know what to call it, but eventually I started calling it my angel altar because it kind of looked like, you know, angelic and all that. But as you can see, I've added my grandmother to it. So I kind of created this altar for her, you know, since her passing. And um, I'm gonna get into some of the stuff that I have on the altar, guys. As you guys can see, I have this angel or a quartz that I got from our Atlanta crystal excursion. And they are so beautiful. I have two, I have one on each side. I'm a very symmetrical person. So I like to have two of each, um, two of everything on each side basically. And I have these elephants. I love elephants that my mother gave me. As you can see, my two-year-old broke the elephant. Like, his trunk is broken, but that's okay. I'm still going to use them. And he also broke this one. He broke the tusk. But yeah, nevertheless, I still got two elephants up here. And I also have my Organite the same organite that I had on my other altar. I have two over here. So really I kept four 
we were supposed to be making these to sell, but I kept four guys. Yep. Because I like them a lot, and I feel like I need them for my space as well. See, I kept this one because it kind of messed up, so I didn't even want to sell this one. So, yeah, there you go. And then I have my Sage and Poly Santo. This is what I use to clear the air, clear the energy. I use the Poly Santo for the same reasons. I love the smell of Poly Santo so much better than Sage. But I do like the smell of Sage. I just, um, I like the Poly Santo scent better. So, moving right along, we have the Selenite Crystal. And I have two, as you can see, there's one here. And the selenite is just like the balancing crystal. It balances all your chakras. It's like the divine crystal. We already talked about it, so I'm not gonna get into it that much. And here we have this beautiful clear quartz that I got in Atlanta. No, now I keep saying Atlanta in Georgia. Um, I can't remember the, like where we were in Georgia right now. Like I have pregnancy brain guys, so a lot of things I cannot remember on the spot right now, but. This clear quartz is the master, the master healer crystal. So you always gotta have a clear quartz. And this one is a beautiful piece. And also, I have this beautiful smoky quartz for protection. I needed a protection stone, so I use my smoky quartz as just that. And it is so beautiful. So I have these candles up here guys. These candles really don't represent anything. I just thought they would make for nice decoration. I mean, who knows, I may use them one day, but right now I never like them. I just kind of use them for decoration and there's one on each side. And if you look here, I don't want to touch this because I don't want to mess this up, but I have, um, these cute little things that I got from TJ Maxx. And I keep these pencils from Align Thoughts. That's my business um, with Stacy. And we wrap pencils with crystals. I guess I can take one out for you guys. But yeah, it's like a manifestation pencil and you just, you know, kind of write with it. We just added pins, so if you want one, hit us up. But yes, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus, but it's a really cool pencil and you can journal with it and you know, have the magic of the crystal as you write. So as you can see, I have three of my grandmother's pictures up here. Um, I have her obituary and then it's two, you know, regular photos of her doing what she does best, receive gifts. We used to stay giving her gifts, guys. And um, like on my other altar, I have some more of the spray that I made. I actually made two big bottles and um, two of these small bottles. So these are like my refill bottles. And then I have one more of the small little spray bottle. So I have plenty of that. And these white candles that I light in honor of my grandmother. I have one burning now. Um, sorry that thing is in the way, but yeah, so I have these white candles that I burn for her. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this altar. This one doesn't have as much, and if you're wondering why I have the spoon here, it's to put out the candle. Like, cause when the candle gets too low, like I said, I don't like to blow it out, so I just kinda put it out with the spoon and like, smudge it so yeah so yeah that's pretty much it for this altar all right guys so that was my altar tour I did not know that I had that much stuff on my altar like <sighs> um yeah I mean it's quite a bit and I didn't realize how much it was until I like started talking and running out of breath trying to explain everything but yeah, like, I'm a metaphysical person. My husband always says, like, you will splurge on some metaphysical stuff. And I do. He says this in my charts, so. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any other video requests? Have any questions about anything? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't be scared. Like, 
that's why I'm here. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, world peace. Bye guys.